Hi, I'm Marek Molarczyk from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And this is part two of the review of Dell Experience versus HP Envy. Okay. I've, done, I've done the first video with Toyo about these two laptops, especially focusing on Dell XPS 15. Lo loads uh, of people were commenting on it on, on uh, YouTube. And I put it on my blog as well, for the show like Bridge that quality K. And well, people have different opinions, that's true. And these are two different laptops. And it depends what you're looking for, really. One of the things that people were saying is that well HP Envy does have a USB 3.0. Well, not sure about that. Well, the one I was talking about is HP Envy 14, first of all. NV17 does have USB 3.0, that's true. 14 doesn't, or at least it doesn't in the UK. Maybe it does in the US. In the UK, NV14 doesn't have USB 3.0. So one of the great features in Dell is that it's got USB 3.0. Actually, two ports, two USB 3.0 ports. There's one here on the side, on the left-hand side, and it's one on the back as well. Now, what about Dell? Let's focus on Dell. Well, I've been using it now for more than a month, and there's a couple of things that I'm, well, I'm not totally happy with. For example, well, the quality is great. The screen is great. I've got a full HD screen, so nothing to complain about. But I would complain about the graphics card. This one has the NVIDIA graphics card, and this new NVIDIA graphics card has the switchable graphics, so it switches automatically from the Intel built-in graphics card to the NVIDIA when you use loads of resources, when you use Photoshop, for example. Unfortunately, well, I run a training business and I do loads of training with clients and I connect to projectors and video splitters as well, for example. And the problem I'm having with this laptop is that when I connect to video splitter, so splitting the video signal to a number of monitors, I can't go any higher than 1024 by 768, so the resolution is really, really low. When I connect to just one monitor, it's fine. I can go to any screen resolution, but when I use the video splitter, which I use quite a lot, the resolution is really low. And this is a problem. I would have thought, well, maybe that's how it works, but I didn't have this problem with Dell Studio, the laptop I had before. Studio was fine. So that's, I'm guessing it's just something with this, with this graphics card. Studio used ATI cards, and I don't know why Dell moved from ATI to NVIDIA. There might be some reason for that. So this is the one thing I'm not really happy about. That another thing is, well, I'm missing these uh, these uh, touch buttons uh, on on the keyboard that were in Studio. They're gone here in X in XPS now. Studio had a number of buttons that you could use to quickly change the volume or play or pause the, the music. They don't they're gone. They're not here anymore. You can find them on F7, F8, F9 and so on. But they were so much more useful as separate buttons on the keyboard because now I need to press function F8, F9 or 10. Of course I could change that. So I could just press F8, F9 and 10. But then if I wanted to use F10 or F9 or F8, for example, in Flash, I would need to use function gear that, so it's just a bit of a hassle. Um, regarding the chassis, the laptop itself, uh, good chassis, aluminium, good quality, a bit more bulky than XP, uh, than Envy, that's true, Envy looks different, looks a bit better, of course, but depends what you're looking, really. Uh, so this is, is good and well generally it is a really good laptop good built-in webcam good connections very good quality sound JBL speakers but it depends if you're really using sound on your laptop so generally good laptop but not exactly what I was expecting if I were to buy a new laptop once again now well I wouldn't probably get the XPS. Uh, when I get a new laptop, uh, probably next year, I'm probably not going to buy Bell and Dell anymore. I will probably consider maybe HP or maybe something else. Unless they, they create something really, really good. Is it worth its money? Well, 
It is, yes, because it is much cheaper than HP. So it has a good value for money. And it all comes down to what you use it for, how you use it, what you re require from the computer. So there are any good laptop but not what I would expect from the high-end laptop because this is the XPS range. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTrain.co.uk and that's where you find more about me or visit my blog, PhotoshopLightroomBridge.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.